I'm Mira. If you're looking for a class to strengthen your back, as to improve your posture, or if you're recovering from a and back injury, this is the right class for you. However, now this class is not suitable if you have osteoporosis. So I'd like you to take care while practicing this class. So let's go ahead and start the class. We're going to start on our back. So the best way to go on the back is lie on the side and roll to your back. Have your feet hip distance apart. Have your pelvis and your spine in a comfortable position. Your knee is about 45 degrees angle. Your chest is nice and opened and your arms are long by the side reaching to your feet. We start with an inhalation through the nose. Now as we exhale, I like you to draw in the abdominal muscle and then I like you to rock the pelvis to press the lower back down and then release them. Now we're going to start by mobilizing the pelvis first. If this is comfortable for you, go ahead and continue with the rocking sensation. If this hurts or feel uncomfortable in your back, just work on drawing the abdominal muscle without the rock. So we're going to do three more times. We exhale, we rock the pelvis, imprint the lower back, inhale, release. Two more times, exhale, rock the pelvis and release. Last one, exhale, rock, mobilizing the pelvis. And then go ahead, again, continue with the rock. Then I like you to articulate the pelvis to an exercise called the pelvic curl and bring the pelvis into the bridging position. So again, your thighs are still in parallel position. Your pelvis is nice and lifted. Your abdominal muscles scooped in. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll it down again, vertebrae by vertebrae, and release. And again, exhale, we roll the pelvis up, press the feet, lift the bottom, open the chest, inhale. Exhale, roll it down. Now, if articulation is uncomfortable for your back today, what you can do, you can draw the abdominal in, press the feet, lift the bottom straight up in one straight line, hold an in breath, and then lower the pelvis straight down. So you can either, to, either do the articulation version, or as you roll that articulate down, or straight lift up and down. So I'm going to do the pelvic curl with the articulation. So I'm going to draw my abdominal in, press my feet, lift the pelvis up to the bridge. Inhale, exhale, I roll my spine down and release. Let's do one more time. Exhale, I articulate my pelvis up, bring it up to the bridging position. Inhale at the top and exhale, roll the spine back down. Okay, well done. Okay, and I want you to, next one, draw the abdominal in. Take the right leg up to a tabletop position. Now let's work on trying to stabilize the pelvis here. We're going to lower down. As you inhale, exhale. So lifting the leg up and then lowering the leg down. Exhale. And as you lift and lower, movement comes from the hip joint and your pelvis and lower spine is nice and stable. And two more, and lift, and last one, and lift, hold that, use the same arm side, so we're going to press the hands and press the thigh to your hands as you breathe out, and what you will feel is your oblique muscle, your abdominal muscle on the right side engaging, so we're going to press and stay there for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, let's lift the left side. Breathe out, we'll lift, inhale. So continue with this. The key to having a strong back is to have a strong core. So here, we're working on a core muscle, stabilizing our trunk as we lift the leg up and down. Let's do two more. Exhale, we lift and lower. Last one, lift and lower and then lift up again, same hand, 
Same thigh. We press down as you press the thigh up. We breathe out, you'll feel the oblique on the left side engaging deep, deep and deeper. And let it go. Now let's move on to our leg changes. So this is going to get a little bit more challenging. We're going to take the right leg up to tabletop. As you breathe out, switch the leg and stabilize that belly in, and stabilize the trunk and the pelvis. And we lower and lift. And lower and lift and lower and lift, abdominal wall comes in, and lower and lift, two more sets, last set, last one, bring both legs up, take the arms up to the ceiling, okay, now we're going to take another step further, as you draw the abdominal wall in, I want you to lower the right leg down, and then lift the left arm up as the right arm travel down with the right leg. And then we take the leg and the arm up and then we switch. And then bring it up. Again, as you open, as you lower and the legs and the arms down, I want you to really stabilize the center that you do not arch your back. And lower and center. And lower and center and lower and maintain the stability of the pelvis and the trunk the spinal column and lower and center one more each side lower center last one and take the legs up and arms up squeeze the inner thighs open the arms up to the t position Press the back of the shoulders down. Let's move on to our spine, twist supine. Let's go to the right. We inhale as we rotate from the waist. We bring the legs to the right side. Left shoulder stays down. Exhale, come back. Over to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, come back. If this feels uncomfortable for you, perhaps you don't go too far out. Just do a smaller movement here. As you inhale, we twist, exhale, come back, inhale, exhale. You can also do this movement with the feet down on the floor. So we're just modifying the exercise. Exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm going to take my leg up again to tabletop. And again, I continue to my left, exhale. And let's do one more each side to the right. Exhale. Last one to the left. And exhale, coming back. Lower the leg one. And then two. And then turn your body facing me. Okay, now stack the legs together. Interlace the hands at the back of the hip. Now like you have your feet aligned with the spine. Right lifting the underneath waist up. So I want to see a gap underneath the waist so we're not slouching the back down. We're lifting up, engaging the waistline here. Now we're going to do chest opener here. We're going to inhale, open the top elbow out and then rotate the trunk, our spine, to the back. And then exhale, come back. And again, inhale. As we open, Mobilizing our spine, exhale, come back. Again, if you feel pain or discomfort in this movement, I'd like you to perhaps do a smaller range with a rotation. And an in breath, we rotate. Exhale, we come back. Last one here, in breath, we rotate. Exhale, we come back. Well done. And let's come up, coming onto our forearm here. Place your elbow underneath the armpit. Place the top arm down by the side of the body. Lifting the waist up, engaging the lat muscles, opening that chest. As we breathe up, press the forearm down, lift the pelvis, and we can take the top arm up. 
and then coming down, lengthen the spine. Let's do three more times. So modified side plank, and then coming down. And on three, we lift, and come down. And making sure that your chest is nice and open and your spine is at the longest position ever. And last one. And lifting. And come down. Let's go over to the other side. So we're going to repeat our chest opener. Stack the legs up. Interlace the hands the back of the hip. Your feet are aligned with the spine. Lifting the lower waistline. I want to see a gap underneath it. We inhale as we open the elbow and allow the spine to rotate and look behind you. Exhale. Return. In breath. Opening. Exhale. Return. In breath. Exhale. Let's do two more times. In breath. Exhale. And last one here. Inhale. Exhale. Well done. Let's come up onto a forearm. For the modified side plank, chest is open. And we breathe out. We lift and come down and breathe that we'll lift and down let's do three more and lift and down two more lift and down last one lift and come on down well done let's go to our quadruped position so onto our hands and our knees Align the shoulders and the heel of the palm, the knees and the center of your hips. Now, chest is nice and proud, lengthening the spine out from the tailbone and the tip of the head here. Let's go to our cat stretches here. Again, we're mobilizing our spine. First, as we breathe out, push the floor away. We're going to round that spine, curling, flexing the back, and then lengthening the spine, and then continue to arch the upper back up into extension. And again, exhale. Now, if the flexion feel uncomfortable for you, I'd like you to just either do a small range of movement or not do the flexion at all. So you can just stabilize here and stay here in a neutral spine as we're doing the flexion and then continue into an extension. If the flexion seems fine to you, come and join me and we'll do the cat in the full movement and extend the upper back and let's do one more time exhale we flex using the abdominal muscle lengthening the spine reaching the sternum forward and up and release okay now stay in a neutral spine position here lifting up the center i want you to slide the right arm forward and extend the left leg back behind you and then we lift up and lower give me five more here lift and lower and four and lower three and lower two last one bring them in let's go to the other side extending my left arm forward stabilizing my center sliding my right leg behind me and i will lift and lower and lift again keeping your body nice and balanced in the middle try not to sway your body left and right and three more two last well done bring them in sit on the heels and bring your legs forward so i like you to Come to a seated position here. Most importantly, I'd like you to sit nice and upright, perching on your sitting bone. If you can do so with the legs straight, 
go ahead and straighten the legs. If you find that it's too challenging for you, you may bend the knees slightly, but still holding on to that beautiful upright alignment. So I'm going to have my legs straighter today and have your feet slightly wider than your pelvis. Bending the elbows, bring the elbows and the forearm together here, lifting tall, drawing the abdominal muscle in. And I like you to open the elbows out to the side and then bring the elbows slightly back and squeeze it at to each other, open the elbows and bring them together. And again, we open as we exhale, inhale, and then open elbows, bring it past the shoulder joint and squeezing the shoulder blades together, open the elbows and close. Again, out and back, out and close. Two more, open and back, Open and close, open the elbow, shoulder blades together, open the shoulder blade and elbows together. Now bring the elbows out to the side and maintain the upright alignment here. Now let's add some twist. We exhale, double breath, rotate towards me. In breath, middle. To the other side, and a middle. And to me, Center, to the other side, center, to me, other side, last set, to me, another side, and center, well done. Take your arms forward here, breathe out, let's scoop the belly in, round the body forward, and then hinge at the hip. If this feel uncomfortable for you, please don't go too low. Exhale, roll the spine up and then return. And again, exhale, round the body forward and hinge at the hip in breath. Exhale, roll it back. Let's just do one more. And exhale, round the body forward, hinge at the hip at the end, in breath. And exhale, roll the spine up, take your arms up to the ceiling. Okay, lifting that spine tall, and let's pull the arms back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Well done. And let that go. Bring your legs behind you and go into our front. Stack your hands on the floor. So one palm on top of the other. Your elbows are nice and wide. Your legs are long behind you. So your legs are either together or hip width distance apart here. And your head, your forehead is just going to float over your hands. Take an in breath. As we exhale, I'd like you to pull the abdominal muscle in, glide the shoulder blades down, inhale, gently press the arms down and lift the upper back up into extension here. So what I want you to feel is that muscle in the mid back drawing down towards the lower spine. And come down as we exhale. Continue again, inhale, drawing the shoulder blades down, lifting the upper back up, and exhale, come on down. Three more, inhale. So we are activating that middle trapezius muscle to be stronger so it can actually hold your trunk upright and down. And again, drawing the shoulder blades down, making sure the abdominal muscle is nice and lifted and your hamstrings, your leg muscles are active, reaching out to your toes and coming down. Now the next one, keep the right hand. I have my right hand on top of my left. Keep the right hand with your forehead. As you inhale, lift the arm up with your back and come down. Now, we're going to add the leg now. We'll inhale, lift 
the right arm up and the left leg up and come on down again inhale three more reaching up so I call this a modified swimming inhale this is going to work all the muscles in your back and down and lifting in breath and coming down let's do one more time inhale reaching exhale release switch your arms so i have my left hand on top of my right and i'm lifting my back with my left arm with me and down and again inhale gliding my shoulder blade down as i lift my arm and my back up Whoop, i miss my leg so let's lift the right leg up with the back and come on down and again inhale lifting and back and inhale lifting and let's do two more here and inhale lifting and exhale down one more please inhale lifting and exhale down well done now bring your arms to the side of your hips here let's go to our back extension here we're going to again to lift the abdominal up glide the shoulder blades out as we inhale slide the arms down to your feet as you lift the back exhale come down and again inhale reaching lifting exhale come down two more inhale reaching up to the tip of the head keeping your neck long exhale come down one more time please inhale we lift exhale come on down all right bring your hands on the side of your back of your shoulder sorry push the floor away and bring your pelvis down to your heels for a quick rest position and come back again to your quadrupeds okay last exercise for this class so go back to your quadruped position chest open tuck your toes under take an in breath here lift that center push the floor away with the hands and the feet float the knees off keeping the neck long and we stay here inhale exhale inhale exhale what i like you to think is reaching a tailbone away from the tip of the head exhale so I like to create a nice table-like position with the spine, with the body. Three more breath. Two more. Last one. And release the knee down. Relax the feet, sit the pelvis back, stretch your arms forward for another rest position. Walk your hand to the right side of the mat to stretch the left side of the body. In breath, exhale, and walk your hand towards the left side of the mat to stretch the right side of the body. In breath, exhale, walk your hand back to the middle and roll the spine up to a seated position. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the class and feeling really good with your back. Have a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best. If you enjoyed this video, click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you my favorite Pilates for total strong body members only workout. This workout will open, stretch and strengthen your entire body. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my free videos. See you in the next class.